What's up, AUDL fans? Daniel Cohen here with this week's Cohen's Cut. Today we're going to be looking at the DC Breeze backfield and their ability to move the disc seamlessly between handlers. So the Breeze offense was dominant in 2021 with their possession-based small ball approach that featured three or four handlers carrying the load on each possession. With quick disc movement and great patience, the group was especially efficient in the red zone, converting on more than 82% of their red zone possessions, good for third best in the league. In this sequence, the Breeze handler set consists of Johnny Malks, Rowan McDonald, Gus Norbaum, and Jock Nissen. As the spacing begins to clog near the far hash, Malks turns his horizontal cut into a clear out as Rowan swings the disc towards the middle of the field. They want to reverse the field here, so Nissen is already cutting to get the continuation swing from Norbaum before Rowan even releases the disc. Anticipating the next throw before it goes up is a key fundamental of this quick motion offense. Now after Norbaum gets the disc to Nissen, he's going to immediately follow his throw to try getting the disc back. Another big part of this small ball offense is using throw and goes to keep the handler defenders off balance and to keep the disc moving. Here, Norbaum's throw and go forces a handler switch, which ultimately works to DC's advantage. See, instead of the throw going back to Norbaum towards the near sideline, the switch puts Norbaum's defender on his outside hip. So Norbaum turns in towards the middle of the field to counter the switch and still get the disc back from Nissan. Meanwhile, Johnny Malks has every intention of making his way back towards the disc after his initial clear out. He's watching the offense develop, waiting for that opening to come back in. This is that opening, so he times his end cut perfectly to receive an immediate dump from Norbaum with horizontal momentum. And this momentum gives him and the offense an open throw to the near side of the end zone, where he immediately hits Joe Richards for the Breeze goal. Thanks for watching, and be sure to join me next time for another Cohen's Cut.